So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. In this modern age, Perfect. too many people have lost sight of the true meaning of Christmas. Oh, hush! Shut up, Ralphie! So now, in the spirit of the original, I made it, you! Stop! Tradition. American Christmas. Thanks a lot. MGM presents a Christmas story. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here with another movie review. Actually, another Christmas movie review. This time, the movie is A Christmas Story, which came out in 1983. It starred Peter Billingsley, Melinda Dillon, Darren McGavin, Ian Petrella, Scott Schwartz, and Zach Ward. And the director was Bob Clark. And the writer was Gene Shepard, who in this film is the narrator of the adult Ralphie. And he is also the... Well, this movie is basically based on the novel which Gene Shepard wrote. But it was called, In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash. So this movie is basically about... In the 1940s, a young boy named Ralphie attempts to convince his parents, his teacher, and Santa that a Red Ryder BB gun really is the perfect Christmas gift. All right, guys, here's another Christmas movie I watch every year. Um, of course, if you own this on the VHS or the DVD, it's even better. But they do show this on TNT, TBS, every year around Christmas time. 24 hours. I think it starts Christmas Eve. It goes right into Christmas, and then that's it. You don't see it for the rest of the year. To me, it's an excellent film. It's a good film. It's a funny film. Um, it does have some slapstick comedy, but the comedy is there between the lines, the interactions bet between people. Uh, there are some sexual endowendos. Not a lot, just a few. But if you're a grown-up, you will understand them. If you're a kid, you won't get it at all. And I know for a fact a lot of people do like this film because especially if you're a parent, grandparent, or a great-grandparent, I mean, it's from the 1940s, so it kind of relives the 1940s lifestyle and what was going on and just showing what was the cars the appliances, the clothing, the whole the whole lifestyle of it, it's pretty interesting. But you bring it into the, which came out in the 1980s, like I said, this is a, a novel which was written by Gene Shepard. And but it's because basically he was, he grew up around that time, I guess in the 40s. It, it's very interesting to see what was going on at that time and how, you know, but they made it as a comedy, which is even better for people. But here's another film that there's so many funny moments in this movie. I don't want to say it all. It just, you know, the few I'll say is basically, of course, the pink bunny suit. How could you not go wrong with that? That was an, a funny scene. Uh, another one was um, when Flick, he sticks his tongue to the ice cold pole and he gets it stuck. That's another funny moment. And of course... Don't try that at home. Uh, but anyway, with this film, it's a good film. It's a funny film. The cast is amazing. Everybody had great chemistry on the set. Uh, the cinematography, the directing, everything about the film is very good. And also, here's another one. How could you not forget the leg lamp? That's what makes it even more funnier. But yes, there's, like I said, there's a whole bunch of funny scenes in this film. Uh, no spoilers if you haven't seen it. It's a good film to check out. I highly recommend to see this film. And I mean, that's it. That's about it, guys. I mean, you can watch this on, probably on, like I said before, if you have the VHS or DVD, even better. Um, it's probably on demand, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, by now so but like i said in the beginning it's on every christmas eve 24 hours tnt tbs 
Check it out. And just on a side note, Peter Billingsley, he was in the Elf movie. He played Ming Ming in the beginning. Because him and John Favreau are best buds. And he, actually, he was actually in the new Spider-Man movie. He played the one of the villains as a hacker. He had glasses and he had a bald head. That was him, if nobody knew that. Spoiler alert. Now it's time for fun facts. The scene in which Flick's tongue sticks to the flagpole, a hidden suction tube was used to safely create the illusion that his tongue had frozen to the metal. Darren McGavin ad-libbed the profane rants while fighting with the furnace. He spoke gibberish to make sure the film would be a PG rating. The film setting is a in a, it's in a town in Indiana, but was filmed in Cleveland, Ohio. Also, this film inspired the creation of The Wonder Years, and that TV show came out in 1988. The de department store in the Santa scene is the Higbee's in downtown Cleveland. It became Dillard's in 1992 and closed January 7th, 2002. It is now home to Jack's Casino. Peter Billingsley only had about 93 lines of dialogue. Now, this is pretty interesting. I never knew about this. When filming the scene in the Chinese restaurant, Melinda Dillon was purposely given the wrong script. And everyone, everyone was on, on it, in on it. She had no idea that the duck would still have its head. And the first time she saw it, her reactions during the entire sequence were real and not scripted. The major award was based on a real lamp. An illuminated, excuse me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Nehi or Nehi logo. The St. Catherine's Museum owns some props used in the film. Two pairs of Ralphie's glasses, including the pair that was smashed, and two scripts. Ralphie was supposed to be nine, but Peter Billingsley, who played him, was about 12 years old. Gene Shepard was not only the narrator of the film, he also made a very small cameo. He was the man in the line waiting for Santa. I think he, the, the, it was the guy that he goes, the line ends here, it starts back there. I think that's how he said it in the film. But yeah, that, that was actually him in the film. That's, that's Gene Shepard. And he, he's actually, if you go to Disney World, his voice is on one of the rides. Um, I know some of you guys that are Disney fans, I, th I think it's, I think it's in Tomorrowland. I think, I believe I forgot the name of the ride. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was called the Carousel of Progress, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below, please, if no, every, anybody knows. But yeah, the guy speaking that, that's Gene Shepard. Author Gene Shepard's middle name was Parker, which is the last name of the family. Shepard also had a younger brother named Randy, and in the film... Ralphie's younger brother was named Randy. And finally, the director made a small cameo. Bob Clark, he played uh, the Swede, the dim-witted neighbor who marvels at the leg lamp from outside. That is the director of the film. And that's it, guys. That is my Christmas movie review for A Christmas Story, which came out in 1983. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell, notify my next video vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes, and have a nice holiday.